Hi students, this is Srinivas and you are watching KB Television. Welcome to E-Classes. Physics and Tevani Kipoye Inter Vidyadula Ku Tips and Inchend Ku KB Television Krishes Tondi. Anubhavagnulaina Adhya Pokalache Physics Class only Nero Histondi. Vidyadulu Chayals in the La KB Web Television Low E Classes No Regular Ga Follow Over Me. Ika Yenati Episode Vishan Koste Dr. Srinivasa Chari Senior Inter Physics Subject Nu Bodin Sabotanaru. Physics Bodanalo Apara Anubhavana Dr. Srinivasa Chari Garche Atyanta Kelakamaina Mechanics Chapter Pai Ivala Class Konsagutundi. Gata episode low mechanics topic to Samaninchi Center of Mass Lone Uniform Solid Cone Maru Uniform Solid Hemisphere Gurinchi Telskunangada Enot episode low Halo Cone Maru Acceleration of Center of Mass Gurinchi Adhiran Chedam Pariksha low chala regular ga adigayi subject to Samaninchina Low to Pathalento Dr. Srinva Sachari class low Telskunda Next we go for hollow cone, uniform hollow cone, right circular cone. Now we will be considering the center of mass of a hollow cone. Hollow cone, let it be a uniform hollow cone, symmetric to y axis or axis along the y axis and base of the center of the base is at the origin and base is on xz plane. It is like this. How to determine the center of mass of a hollow cone? Procedure is imagine that be divided into small elements. Imagine this be divided into small elements. Okay. So the elements are in the form of circular rings. The, those circular rings of varying radius starting from here to at the base. So, varying circular rings we can consider. Consider one ring which is of width dl located at a distance l from the vertex. L is the slant distance. Along the slant height of the cone, along the slope of the cone, consider a distance l with a thickness uh, width of dl. So, let it be dl. Let this angle be theta and let the corresponding vertical distance or y distance be dy. So, when I consider dy as the y distance, dl is along the incline, theta is the angle here, dl and dy, they are related to each other, dy is equal to dl cos theta or dl is equal to dy by cos theta. This is only slightly different procedure we follow. So, we are imagining the cone be divided into circular rings of varying radii starting from 0 to R capital R. Consider one circular ring which is situated at a distance L along the slope of the cone with a width dl measured along the slope and vertical distance or y distance of that width is dy component is dy is dl cos theta therefore dl is dy cos theta dy by cos theta now what is the let the radius of the cone be r so what is the mass of the cone first mass of the cone is m density this mass is distributed over the curved surface therefore aerial density of the cone is mass of the cone divided by pi r l l is the slant height of the cone which is related to capital R as L is equal to under root H square plus R square because it is a right angle triangle R is this H is this L is this angle. So therefore we can write as M by pi R into under root H square plus R square. 
either this way or this way you can write either in terms of L or in terms of H we can write sigma is m by pi r L that is the cone mass per unit area aerial density next one is mass of the ring to which the cone is into which the cone is divided so mass of the ring is dm is area of the surface area of the ring into aerial density sigma into surface area of the cone cone radius is uh, element uh, disc or uh, ring ring radius is r therefore circumference is 2 pi r and width of the cone is dl therefore width of the element or sir, ring element is dl 2 pi r dl is the area of the ring element sigma into area of the ring element gives you mass of this element but sigma into 2 pi r r once again here also we have similar triangle property so let this be y distance is y, this perpendicular distance is y the slant height is l or along the slope it is distance is l along the y axis the distance of the ring from the vertex let it be y so therefore r we can write r by y is equal to capital R by H. Therefore, R I can write as small r is capital R into Y by H. So, using similar triangle property, R divided by Y is equal to capital R divided by H. From there, I will be able to calculate small r. So, I will write R in terms of uh, Y. R by H into Y and DL also I wrote in terms of Y coordinate. DY by cos theta then what is cos theta in this triangle cos theta is h by l so therefore cos theta is h by l or h by under root h square plus r square this is cos theta value and next one is m dm we have next determination of ycm ycm is 1 by m integral y y here is coordinate y, center of mass is now y coordinate of center of mass is not y this distance is h minus y therefore instead of y we should write h minus y that is the location of center of mass on y axis measured from origin origin we are choosing here but y i am measuring from the top in this case that's why it is h minus y into dm okay substituting that here 1 by m integral h minus y into dm is sigma 2 pi r by h i write here sigma 2 pi r h r by h sigma 2 pi r by h i wrote here sigma 2 pi r by h into 1 by m and h minus y y into dy cos theta also I can bring out of the integral because that is also constant. I brought cos theta outside 2 pi r sigma by h here m already outside is this integral. Now what are the limits of y? y0 is corresponding to this ring, y is equal to h corresponds to this ring, y varying between the limits 0 to h. Those are the limits of integration therefore ycm is equal to sigma 2 pi r by m h we write integral h minus y into y dy integral there are two integrals here after expanding this bracket h h y dy minus y square dy integral 0 to h these are the two integrals next next comes out to be integration value 2 pi r sigma by m h integral integral y dy is y square by 2 any how h constant y square by 2 in, uh, limits are 0 to h is h square by 2 h square by 2 into h h cube by 2 numerator this is y square dy is y cube by 3 substituting the limits h cube by 3 minus h cube by 3 this is nothing but 2 pi r sigma by m h into 3 minus 2 h cube by 6. 
so this value one of the h square h gets cancelled we have and also 3 therefore pi r cos theta cos theta we have missed cos theta here cos theta here this cos cos theta here pi r sigma m cos theta into 3 r uh, into h square h square we have got now substitute sigma value and cos theta value so pi r h square by 3 m we write sigma value is sigma was m by pi r l pi r l is under root h square plus r square sigma is m by pi r l m divided by pi r under root r square plus h square and cos theta